We're here with junior point guard and uh, tri-captain of the Franklin Pierce women's basketball team, Kate McDonald. And Kate, uh, you guys wrap up the first half of the season, uh, five and three, uh, contending for a playoff spot, kind of has become the custom here with the program. Uh, how do you feel the team's uh, gotten to this point? And um, as you guys kind of head into the some of the practices of between break and then into the season, just how do you think the team's shaping up so far? Um, so far, I think it's going pretty well. I mean, we lost some close teams that we shouldn't have lost. Um, but we had a big win um, against UMass Lowell going into the Christmas break, so I think that helped us a lot too. And the practice now, we just need to continue to get better, and everyone needs to work hard, and everyone needs to step up. I was going to say, a win like that against UMass Lowell, you, you guys have to come back from the game against Bentley, which is a tough loss, but uh, you guys were outstanding offensively in that game with Lowell. And, we could kind of run through all the numbers, sit, you know, close to 70% from behind the arc. And you personally went on a, a, a hot stretch there, hitting the threes in the second half. What could a win like that do for you guys moving forward? Um, I think it gives everyone a lot of confidence. And I think mostly we just need consistency. I mean, finally we shot, we didn't shoot very well. We didn't play very good defense. And then coming out here, we played really good defense. I mean, Bianca Simmons still at 25, but we held her to six points in the first half, and that's kind of their team. And they're still a really good team, so that was a really big one for us. Uh, some of the young players have uh, had to step up into roles that maybe weren't expected. Uh, you know, Kara Charette has to play a lot more minutes because Jess Hurt's coming back from injury. Uh, Diamond Gardner seeing some time in the backcourt. Uh, just talk about some of the younger players that uh, have, have kind of been counted on, and they're kind of learning as they go through this process. Um, I think Kara Charette has really stepped up. I mean, that's asking a lot for a freshman to come in. I mean, we lost Jewel White last year, and then having Jess and her and her um, was really, like, terrible. But her stepping up, she's really, like, come a long way. And, I mean, it's asking a lot from a freshman, but she's really, like, showing herself. And Diamond has really stepped up, too. I mean, she shoots the ball really well, and she kind of gives us a different look because she's kind of different than the way I play and the way, like, Brick plays. Like, she gets to the basket, and she's strong. And uh, finally, uh Next week's finals, you guys will get to go home for a couple of days. And uh, Any big holiday plans, any uh, kind of uh, family traditions that you guys do around the holidays? Um, no, just good to get back with my family for a little while and spend some time with them with basketball and grows here. So just being home is always fun. All right, that's Kate McDonald. Kate, uh, uh, congrats so far on the first half of the season. We look forward to talking with you guys as we get into the second half of the season and the stretch drive to the playoffs. All right, thank you.